let's be let's be honest. It's it's very simple. Mm-hmm. Yes, if you use it as it is. But if you the moment you want to you start trying to to modify XFCE, we went from polybar to uh, to panel to we were treating it because the XFCE panel is so stupid. Uh huh. I've I'll, never actually used it. And I'll explain it. why it's stupid. In XFCE in the latest update of XFCE. Uh-huh. I'm not talking about the previous one. 4.17 was okay. Mm-hmm. 4.18. I don't know what they did. Uh, apparently, b- due to their Wayland code, because they're starting to oh, move yeah, to Wayland. Oh, yeah, they are starting to work for Wayland, yeah. They killed the dock, the panel. In what way? Uh, as soon as you move it and make it floating, uh-huh. because we like floating panels. Sure. Uh, the moment you make it floating, it stops adapting to different resolutions. <laughs> so if you make it on 1080p, uh, a few pixels short from the edges. If somebody uh, runs uh, uh, runs this configuration on an ultra wide, the panel is gonna look this big. <laughs> so uh, as soon as you make it touch the upper edge, it adapts. <laughs> it wakes up again. Uh huh. So we needed to find something different. So I guess the same thing would happen Try if polybar. you polybar. Mm-hmm. I guess the same thing would happen if you're using a 4x3 display then, where it would just stretch yeah. off the edges of the screen. Yeah. So, tried Polybar. Mm. Polybar's nice. Polybar is a window manager thing, not a desktop environment thing. So in order it requires to a bit of Polybar, tweaking, but it, it does... It, it's a, a, a lot of tweaking. We tried, uh, yeah. we tried to implement the whisker menu in uh, whisker Polybar. Menu. Because I like the whisker menu. What is the whisker menu? The whisker menu is XFCE's menu, right? Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you've been away from desktop environments for far too long. My no, I, I just, I've <laughs> never heard the term whisker menu. <laughs> I see, I, but, I see. Yeah, so we tried, it to, we tried to implement the whisker menu in Polybar, mm-hmm. but because Polybar is a window manager thing that spawns everything in the center of the screen, Spawned whisker menu in the center of the screen. It mm-hmm. wasn't like click and it goes down like a regular start uh, app menu. Uh-huh. Uh, so you cannot give it even uh, coordinates. Then DT comes along and he uh, he suggests X menu. Mm-hmm. So what X menu was? That's not what we want. <laughs> <laughs> X menu is kind of a kind of a kind of like the XFCE menu that you have on the desktop when you right click on the desktop. Uh-huh. Just moved and you can give it coordinates to to work with polybar then we discovered that uh polybar had bugs uh with xfc <laughs> big deal breaking bugs it wouldn't go transparent <laughs> without the use of some sort of pycom and and to get a pycom that works in virtual machines you have to use a fork called pycom hug one uh n- not the uh not the uh jonaberg one mm-hmm. The Jonah Berg doesn't work in a virtual machine. Ibhag one does. I forgot how much of a mess uh, PyCom was. Yeah, so we were like, okay, we need to ship something stable. So we went back to the XFCE panel. We stuck it to the top. Okay, we cannot have rounded corners because it's not floating. And we're like, okay. We, ba- we went back to the drawing board and we just changed the theme. We're mm-hmm. using uh, something called uh, Kagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
What's his name? Fausto. What? Probably better than I would do. Uh, anyway, uh, yes. it's a it's a tweaked uh, it's a tweaked uh, Graphbox theme. Mm -hmm. uh, the icon pack you see in there is uh, Kanagawa Kanagawa <laughs> icon theme. It comes part of it, but we're not using that icon theme mm -hmm. because it's missing a lot of icons. Yeah. A lot. It's still in the early stages, so we opted to use something you might be familiar with. Uh huh. Tela Circle Icon Theme Brown. Uh, the Tela I Circle Icon Theme is very famous because it's got like 16 different uh, iterations, color schemes, or whatever. Let's see. And I do maintain them on my repository, so I have to build 16 different, 17 different packages because uh, there's the all in one package as well. I've not used these, but I've certainly seen them. Everybody yeah, them, everybody okay. and their mother. Uses, because there's always like the Nordic, uh -huh. all Nordic based themes. A lot of, I, I keep saying all, uh, a lot of Nordic uh, uh, Nord themes mm -hmm. use the Nord color scheme of Tela because it's a very complete icon. Uh, theme. Okay. Uh, it's over 300 megabytes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a massive icon yeah. theme. Okay. Package. It's constantly being maintained, and I maintain the Git repository one, the Git master branch one. Mm. I don't use the regular package because I want to get every update. Mm -hmm. uh, so we use the brown version of that. Uh, so I will send you a screenshot of the XFCE edition the way it looks right now. Okay. So you can show it if you want. Uh, I just started scrolling okay. through the icon themes, and I, I have no idea why some of these even exist. Um, there is a, a My Little Pony icon theme. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when you go looking, uh, when you go into that rabbit hole, you find a lot of weird shit. Oh, yeah, it's I said, I am sending you a screenshot of the XFCE version, if you want to. Okay. Ooh! That does look nice. Those, ignore the icons in the dock. Uh, Plank re is refusing for some reason to load, reload the theme. Yeah. Uh, but once I build the ISO, it's going to be fixed. Uh -huh. For some reason, it's stuck on the old the icon theme cache. Although we uninstalled the old icon theme, but thank <laughs> being blank. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been maintained in years. So. <laughs> <laughs> XFC. Yeah, you expect that. You know. uh, it's, it's, those are the brown icon themes we're talking about. They look way better, and they're more complete. So, yeah, those actually do look kind of nice. Huh. Yeah, and when Bella. I... Tela comes to the rescue, <laughs> always. 